The following is a Hollywood Kid production. Any gameplay seen and or commentaries heard will be entertainingly hilarious, extremely skillful, or ready to be for bowling. Your discretion is advised. Kill them before they beg for mercy. I said allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Holly the Kid. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Uh, I decided to put out this uh, somewhat quick video, well, as quick as a 10-minute video is going to be, on the... Uh, DLC, the Revolution DLC that's uh, coming up with uh, Black Ops 2 in a couple of weeks, or actually maybe like a week or so, week and a half, whenever this video comes out. Um, normally, well, just to give you a little bit of background, normally I don't, I don't bother with the with the map packs or with the with the DLCs unless they're free. I mean, some people call it cheap, whatever you want. It's just, it's not that I have anything against the DLCs or anything to that extent. It's just. I just never get around to buying them. I, I just, I just don't. I don't do. I don't ever get any Microsoft points. I don't. I don't do anything like that. And I just, the, the guy was trying to shoot me, and he missed, ridiculously. So, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this this is a very oh that was a failed knife, but still got him. Um, this this revolution map pack is actually exactly what it says. Uh, revolutionary. This is the first time that Call of Duty has included everything, well, included so much that they have in this map pack. They have uh, four new maps. They have the uh, new game mode, surprisingly, the new game mode known as Die Rise, where you get to play as a zombie. You know, that's that's different. Most people, you know, when you're playing zombies, you're trying to kill them. Now they give you the opportunity to play them. Uh, you also, they also give you a new gun, the Peacekeeper SMG, which has been said will be a mixture between an SMG and an assault rifle. And I know a lot of people are going to be abusing that combination. A lot of people. If somebody learns how to use that right with the correct perks and everything, some people might go undefeated and you'll end up seeing a lot of YouTube gameplays with people just going completely undefeated you know 60 and 25 and all this other stuff um but just to give just to give my give my my take on these uh I don't normally around the corner don't knife me boy <laughs> uh, you gotta look look both ways when you coming up the street man I done try to tell them anyway <laughs> first map hydro uh it's a map that allows you to use a dam and water which is a surprise to me you know I, this is the first time that call of duty that the developers have put in something well probably not the first time but something to this extent where there's a huge dam in the middle of the map and somehow if you're caught down there then you are just ending up to be completely screwed over <laughs> you're gonna end up just being you know washed out you can put your your enemies can get down there and they get washed out but that map it, it's gonna be pretty big from what I've seen and it looks like it's gonna be a pretty a pretty decent map you know the all the maps that I've seen so far or the from the trailers they look like they're gonna be okay I'm not sure you know I gotta look into it a little bit more um, downhill the first map that has snow since the last Black Ops, since Array. Um, Array wasn't, eh, I didn't really like Array. Array, yeah, it was okay, it was okay. But it wasn't one of my better maps in Black Ops 1. So hopefully developers and Treyarch have done a good job at implementing, you know, maybe there's like an avalanche somewhere or... You know, who knows? Maybe there's an abominable, abominable snowman in there <laughs> somewhere that comes out when you know you get a certain amount of kids. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they do something that makes it interesting, being that it's the first snowy map in you know quite some time. Um, this map, the next map called Grind, which is you know a fairly suiting name for this map, <laughs> is set at a skate park and. Just off top, this might be one of my, uh, I'll say it's my second favorite out of this map group. Mainly just because, hey, I was a Tony Hawk fan growing up. And 
if it's anything similar to those maps or not maps those you know levels from Tony Hawk or even from Skate you know that, that shoot I love Skate the actual game Skate 1 I beat all three of them um, if it's anything like that then it's gonna be fairly interesting I know the developer said this is the first time that this map implements something such as you know as curves because as you have noticed you know most of the Call of Duty maps they're very they're very edge based they're very sharp you know a lot of people hide around corners for this and for that and it kinda I don't know if it's if it deletes the idea of camping um, or you know how that's gonna work out but you know it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out um, that's, that's gonna be one of the more interesting maps but I think my favorite map uh, out of this map pack is going to be Mirage which is set in the Gobi Desert um, where it's basically an overrun sound that has been you know that has succumbed to a uh, sandstorm or something to that extent and just the way that they created this map it looks like it's gonna be very very uh, what's the best word very very competitive you know it's gonna comp it's gonna cater to all styles it's gonna cater to the rushing style you know I saw a few camp spots there I saw just a lot of good you know a lot of good things in that map uh, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun like a lot of fun um, another thing like I said the, the zombie new zombie mode I've kind of, I started out playing zombies when uh, Black Ops 2 first came out but I think as the time just kind of went by I, I just you know just stopped playing I think zombies is zombies is still somewhat fun I'm not saying it's not fun but it's uh, this guy's trying to follow me watch watch this I know this guy ain't trying to follow me what are you doing? Ah, uh, headshot. I've gotten like seven or eight headshots this game. I don't know what got into me this game, but I, I, was, I was just like, taking heads. I was going for heads, son. They call me headshot shawty. Headshot shawty. <laughs> Shit. Really? Really? Jerk. Anyway. And yeah, and the, uh, the final piece to this puzzle, to this, uh, the final piece to this uh, Revolution map pack, the Peacekeeper SMG. This looks like a lot of people are going to abuse that SMG. Because, like I said, it's the SMG that's mixed with an assault rifle. It has the range of an assault rifle plus the fire rate of an SMG or however they decide to, you know, mix it up and mix and match it, whatever. But a lot of people are going to be abusing that gun you know in their class once somebody learns how to set it I don't know if they're gonna do a uh, or, or the perks they're gonna use are gonna be something like uh, scavenger you know fast mag and quick draw and you know however they decide to mix it up people are a lot you're gonna see a lot of people basically abusing this gun you know it's gonna be like the this, a lot of people are just gonna use that instead of like the PDW and all this, all the guns they've been using now, because shoot, I mean, I've noticed this Black Ops 2 is catered more towards SMGs anyway. So, somebody gets an SMG with assault rifle power, just imagine, you know, what that's gonna entail for those on the other team. But um, I I'm, I think I'm gonna break my cycle and actually just get the I might just get the season pass and just say you know just stop tripping and just, just go for it you know what do I have to lose um like I said the the uh, map packs though the maps look really good so far you know they're not they're not they're not tiny maps you know they're very spacious they have opportunities to cater to all styles there was one that I think a lot of snipers are gonna love, and I, if I'm not mistaken, it might be downhill. I think it's downhill. That's the one that you're gonna start seeing a lot of snipers just camping out and just going 30 for two on this kind of maps, just because of the way it's set up and the way you know they can really use the vantage points to their advantage. So as this game comes to a close, you all, you know, I hope you know if you haven't seen the trailer. 
you know, I'll put a link to the description down in the bottom. Uh, get this guy! Sister Suicide! Ah, oh, no, I didn't get this. <laughs> I didn't get the Suicide. Uh, yeah, I'll put a link down to it so you can all see from the uh, official, oh, from the official uh, Call of Duty, uh, you know, YouTube page. So, hope you all enjoyed. Got more coming. Stay tuned.